Right, so, Tucker, we want to talk to you about the um, Nike ordeal with Colin Kaepernick, making him now the face of Nike, the new face for the Just Do It campaign. What are your thoughts? It's pretty decadent, actually, I think. I mean, first of all, it's factually ludicrous. You can't give up everything and maintain a Nike contract. But the decadent part isn't even really about Colin Kaepernick. He's an athlete, a, a young guy. You know, I, I would give him a pass, actually, on a lot of this. It's the executives profiting from him and his attacks on the United States while simultaneously denying that they are attacks on the United States. So they're saying, you know, he raised the issue of racial discrimination in this country as if it's never been raised before, <laughs> or as if, you know, the historical problems with that aren't obvious to every single American. Of course they are. This is an attack on the country. So it would be very different if he were saying, you know, I'm protesting this politician or this policy or right. this specific person for doing this specific thing. But no, sitting during the national anthem, is a way of a, making a broad-based, generalized, and therefore impossible to rebut attack mm -hmm. against the country that made him and Nike rich. And again, there's something really decadent about that. When the most successful people in your society hate the society, you've got a real problem. And it's a metaphor for our entire ruling class, many of whom feel that way. They hate and resent the very system that made their prosperity, their success, possible. It's a huge problem for all of us. Well, I tell you what, Tucker, I, I think everybody by now knows what Colin Kaepernick stands for and what he's been up to. But what do you make of the fact that Nike made a business decision? I mean, they, they had a lot of meetings before they did this, and they said, are we ready for the blowback? I mean, I'm, I'm sure some people might say, yeah, way to go, Nike. I'm going to buy your shoes. But others are starting theirs on fire. Well, again, th that's what makes this so appalling. So I, I think too much focus has been on Kaepernick the guy. I mean, who knows what Kaepernick thinks or why or why he's so unhappy or, you know, I, it's not even that interesting. Here you have a boardroom full of corporate executives yep. deciding that they're going to profit from attacks on the country that made their company possible. That is a really ominous thing. We should be really worried about that when the best educated, smartest, richest people in our society decide that destroying the society is the goal and the way to get rich. And again, to their point that, oh, this is a protest against racial discrimination, okay, tell me specifically what you are protesting, specifically, because maybe you could fix it if it were specific. Mm -hmm. This is almost like if you're in a marital spat and the argument is, well, I just don't like the way you are. Well, then what you're saying is you just don't like me. Do, do you know what I mean? If you disagree yeah. with something specific that I've done, teeth tell around me. It. I, so that I can right. improve it. Right. And, and exactly. the thing is, Tucker, the, there's, a, there's more to the issue. It's, it's not uh, there is a racial injustice to fight. Is during the national anthem the time to do it? And then how it happened. He skidded into this. One reporter walked up to him and said, hey, why were you sitting? Because I know you've been benched. I know you're disappointed. Right. They think they thought they were going to that storyline. It's like, well, racial injustice and I don't, police brutality in this country. And they said, really? And the next week he did it again. And next thing you know, this guy, this wasn't Muhammad Ali at a press conference of saying, I'm course. not going to Vietnam. Of That's course. a lot different. Well, this is a hapless kid. That's what we're forgetting. And that's why I don't think we should take Colin Kaepernick as seriously as we take the people around Colin Kaepernick, the sinister figures in this, again, who are profiting from attacking the country in its most basic symbol. So what happens over time if your ruling class decides to attack the very system that made their lives possible? Everything falls apart. You mm -hmm. can't. So that's why we should actually be worried about this. It's, it's bigger than just one football player. Much bigger. It's about Nike. Uh